just a potter in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today, as you know, my uh, charger is out getting uh, beastified at Pite's Performance. So, been driving the Pilot, but today my wife left me with this. So what can we do with this? What kind of fun can we have? Um, the first thing I wanted to get some more opinions on because I still we still haven't done anything. The car is super dirty. And the reason why it's super dirty it's because we're afraid to wash it because of this black mat thing like we're not like i'm not going to come out here and wash the car myself like we're just far too lazy to do that and that sucks so we're not going to do that and sorry it's super windy so you can see it's it's really really dirty because it hasn't been washed in like a i don't know probably a month or two let me give you guys a cold start. So her car does have, um, again, sorry for the wind, but it has race bullet mufflers, everything else is stock. This car is bone stock. No um, no mods on it other, other than the, the muffler delete, which she has race bullets. So let me give you a cold start. <laughs> Again, no memory seats for some reason. The Dodge just left that out on these Challengers. Who knows why? This car was more expensive than mine and it has less stuff. Go figure. Uh. Okay. So that tire is at 29 pounds and the rest are at 30, that's fine. Um, I always say it like it's, it's just a different experience driving one of these versus driving the Charger. For anyone who's driven both, you'll, you'll get it. It's just kind of, um, I don't know, it's more, I guess driver centric. It feels less like a sedan. So I guess it feels like it should. Whenever I drive this, I kind of, I kind of, I feel like this has something that my, my Charger is lacking, but I still like the Charger more. Really, really hard to explain, really odd. But we're here, we got, 485 horsepower as you know we i took this to the g-force dyno and it put down i think 420 i'll put a clip of that below and i'll link to that video But I just wanted to do some 0 to 60s in this and see what it'll do. It's got, uh, let me check out the tire spec. So it's on the P0 Nero's all season 275. And it's windy outside, but let's, and it looks like it's gonna rain, but let's hope it doesn't. So I'm just here at the Burger King drive-thru grabbing a drink. And um, one of the, the first impressions of driving this car is just how much <laughs> quieter and smoother it is in my car. And I know my car's got a pro charger and stuff on it. Uh, you know, no cats. It, it, my car is far more obnoxious, but there's something about like a stock car that is uh, really nice. Like it's just smooth, quiet. It's not fast, but it's still smooth and quiet. Um, so I get, I get the allure of like a stock Hellcat. You would be like smooth and quiet like this, except it would have a lot more power. So I get that. Um, I think that would be pretty nice, you know, to be honest. Um, you know, I like lots of power, you know, even beyond what a Hellcat has. So to me, that's not the end of the world. I just, I've just, this is smooth and quiet and, I, and it's kind of nice. You know, it, it is really nice. I get it. So one observation I can make about this car is just how bad the visibility is. So when you look to the side right here, you see nothing. When you look back, like here you can see a little bit but like the my my car my charger you can just you can see so much better like this is this is pretty bad it's it's, it's actually it's actually 
it's actually pretty bad. If no, if nobody's ever driven one of these, it's like as far as seeing out of the sides and stuff, it's not not good at all. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, luckily, this car is equipped with a blind blind spot monitoring, so that's not as big of an issue. I mean, you can still you know at least know if somebody's there, but the visibility is is quite worse than uh, the Chargers. And what are the odds? As I'm driving here, we got a Destroyer Gray, I think, Scat Pack. The person driving it doesn't seem like they'd be down to race. Let's see if they'll do it. Come on, go, go, go. It's a big no. Well, there's the Destroyer Gray up there. They uh, didn't want to race. But uh, one thing you might see, it's a little bit rainy. There's a little bit of rain on the uh, on the windshield. I don't know how wet the ground is right now, but um, you might think I'm gonna abort this zero to 60 run because it's a little bit wet, but you'd think wrong. All right, I'm at my spot. Since since um, I always have a hard time getting decent video while I'm trying to do these uh, in-car, like zero to 60 runs and stuff, so this time I'm gonna use my GoPro with the head mount. So we'll see how this comes out. There we go, so I'm not sure how good the audio is. So one of the things that you know you could do if you kind of know what you're doing is I'm gonna just put this on and I'm gonna flip it on and just let me show you guys how this happens. So I'm turning it on, then now I'm gonna make a couple snaps or something so I can sync the audio. And there we go. So now I can grab the audio from this and um, video from this. That's how stupid I look. So let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is put this into the race mode. We go super scat pack, and put it in sport. Okay, let me just clean off the tires real quick. Ready for a zero to 60 run? A little bit of brake boost. Spin. Whoa. 5.8. Actually not bad for the first try and for it spinning as bad as it was. And um, as you know, the weather is not ideal. It's 72 out, decent humidity. I think humidity is about 80%. And it's slightly wet on the ground. Not, I don't think there, there's not like any standing water or pools of water, but it's not a, uh, it's not dry. Put it that way. Okay, clean off the tires a little bit. I might have to turn off traction control because I see it coming on very aggressively. So I'm gonna set launch control, and hopefully this will work. traction's on sport before it was on um normal i didn't realize that her sport mode set different than mine so i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna launch it really low because it's just spinning five point six not bad should definitely get into the fours so the next thing i gotta do is come out with some better conditions and possibly uh, put the drag radials on this thing and see what it'll do. These 275 all seasons don't seem to be uh, the holy grail of, of hooking. I'm gonna go really low on the launch because this surface and everything is just spinning its ass off. and uh, uh, slightly damp it's actually not bad at all kind of impressed so I'm gonna look for a better surface to do this launch at because it's um it, it's just bad over here the, the asphalt isn't good I mean I, this is the road I always test my car with and it's just it's not good so and another thing and I run into this problem in my, in my car too but not as bad like I don't I can't even see those stop those stop signs like I sit way too high in the car like I can't I can't see it. I would have to be back way far because just the way the, the line is, the roof line is, and how tall I am, I often can't see the lights if they're too high. And that's kind of annoying.
Okay, it's even wetter over here, but I'm gonna try second gear. So I'm just gonna basically stab it in second gear. See what we can do. Okay, we can do burnouts in second gear. That's what we can do. That didn't work. All right, second gear again. Very light on the throttle in second. That was 6.6. It's just too wet for this to be any good. This is garbage. So my WRX I tested in the rain, like in pouring, pouring rain. I can't recall what it was. I think it was like 5.0, I think it got. And that was like launching it as hard as you could in the rain. So um, obviously this is a rear wheel drive car. It's not nearly as good, but yeah, interesting. 5.3 with a slightly wet road is, I, I think, pretty good. I'll have to come back out when it's dry, and what I'd like to do, I'll probably put the drag radials on it, and then just see what it'll do with the drag radials. Um, I'll do that at some point, like this, probably next week, since I don't have my car, and I might as well. One thing about driving, like, a slow car, not that this car is slow, but, you know, compared to mine it is, that's really nice about driving a slow car is the ability to go wide open. Like, there's, there's a certain satisfaction that you get from going full throttle and like, you know, you're giving the car everything that is just hard to get when you have a too much power. In, um, in my car, even with my, uh, you know, whatever, 600 of the wheels about, I just can't, I can't go wide open very often. It's just, you have to have, you have to be at the right speed. Uh, you, there's a lot more like variables that you have to factor in to make sure you don't, you know, end up wrapping it around a pole. And um, it's just a lot easier to do it in one of these cars with less power than it is in a high power car. So that's that's a, an interesting one. Look, we got another uh, another uh, uh, charger here. He's got performance exhaust too. I got a race. I won. All right, that's it for now. Thanks, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, this video is not too bad. Peace.